Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for Tuesday, October 2nd, 2018. All right, so today we have the moon in Gemini. So themes likely today around uh, maybe learning, uh, using our mind, our thinking patterns, and probably quite noticeably communications as well. So great day for developing this stuff. With that being said, Mercury is going to be squaring up to Pluto. Now, Mercury represents a lot of these same things like thinking and communication. And the square to Pluto can make this perhaps a deep mind, an intense mind, or intense communications as well. So really good collectively to practice essentially non-attachment to what we're thinking about or communicating, as well as channeling that perhaps in constructive and conscious ways. All right, so along with that, we do have a grand trine with the moon kind of supporting this whole thing. And we are in the third quarter phase. So still a great time for setting intentions uh, in regards to any insights that we've gained since the last full moon a week ago. All right, so let's take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here's the sky for this Tuesday. Again, we are using the actual size of the constellations, which does change the signs from mainstream astrology. Um, in mainstream astrology, they use an even 30 degrees for all the constellations. But as you can see here, some of the stars in the sky, some of these constellations are different sizes. So uh, this is taking that into account. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out that link down below for more information on true sidereal astrology. All right, so the moon in Gemini, we may have felt this shift the later part of yesterday, but certainly well set today. Gemini, the twins, is about everything in life that is about synergy. So likely themes today around maybe communication, around sharing and exchanging with others, but also the synergy within ourself, or what you might say of our brain, which is assimilating information. So great day for learning, doing practical things, using our rational mind, our practical mind, uh, this type of thing, likely the theme today, and we could be feeling emotionally secure when we are uh, cultivating this practical aspect of ourselves. All right, so that's in the context of the fact that we are in the third quarter phase of the moon now, which means that about a week ago, we had that full moon, which would have been a time of awareness and maybe gaining some insight about things generally. So if there's been anything over the past week that you've gained insight about, it's an excellent week now this week to integrate this stuff, to take action towards it, set intentions with it, implement whatever uh, that has been. And the focus right now collectively with the Sun and Mercury in Virgo is all about how we can improve things. So while today is certainly great for that practical energy, focusing on what can be improved, what can we do to refine things, refine ourself, All right? This type of thing, really good at this time with the Sun and Mercury in Virgo. All right, so let's take a look at this uh, Mercury squaring up to Pluto going into tomorrow. Mercury, the ruler of Gemini, which again rules communication and thinking and all these types of things, is in a challenging aspect up to Pluto. So collectively, this could feel like a bit of a deep or intense mind deep or intense perhaps communication. This could be a bit of maybe obsession about ideas or about a particular thing we want to communicate or say, maybe highly focused, maybe attached. Again, this is just general energy. We will all be feeling this in different ways, but this is the collective sort of default. Now, the way to work with this is to integrate that Pluto energy in conscious ways because Pluto is the side of ourself that really does um, you know, want to get to the truth of the matter and really connect to what matters most, essentially, right? And the, this might be the deep truth, again, what we want to communicate or say or whatever it is. So to be conscious of this, right? Anything we can do to be conscious of this deeper side of ourselves trying to come out that wants to, um, you know, uh, express these deeper truths or think about these deeper things, but doing so consciously can help the energy flow. And I would say also to do so with non-attachment because sometimes with the square to Pluto, again, there is a bit of this sort of fixed and controlling type of energy that as we practice non-attachment to our ideas, to what we're communicating, it can help that energy flow a bit. All right, so 
in this way it becomes very constructive. In fact, today is a great day for anything that involves this deep mind and deep communication. You know, it could be a great day for research, deep diving, learning about deeper things, hidden things, psychology, spirituality, esoteric matters perhaps, and communicating things perhaps that we'd otherwise not communicate that now maybe we're feeling empowered to. But again, consciously helps it stay nice and constructive. So excellent day for this. And because Mercury does also rule the routine as well, same sort of stuff applies to the routine. Good to be non-attached to it, but then also to do it consciously and maybe make some changes with that routine if it's on that level for you, especially because we do have all these uh, planets in Virgo. All right, so that's the most important thing. That's going to be going into tomorrow there a bit, and certainly this kind of shift the later part of the day with this energy um, easing up as we get into tomorrow. But um, along with this, we do have a grand trine with the moon. The moon's going to be trining Venus, trining up to Neptune. So as a backdrop to all of this, there's just this slight sort of flow, maybe emotionally, with our connections and our relationships, a good synergy between the emotional body and our connections. And then also maybe a good synergy with the willingness to ebb and flow, to accept things, right? And this could be, again, supporting relationships, but it could also be supporting the routine or whatever we're sort of involved with today as a general theme. All right, so that's the most important thing today. Um, Mercury squaring up to Pluto. Great to use this intentfully, consciously. What are some things we can challenge ourselves with today to channel that, that deep mind or that intensity or that sort of fixed energy that we have really good for research all that kind of stuff maybe empowering ourselves through some healthy communications and maybe routine with that square and that's really what this is essentially about with mercury and virgo right now it's about self-development personal growth seeing how we can uh, improve things fix things and um, focus on the details of things with that being said the theme likely today around these types of matters right so another good way of working with it is learning. Gemini, excellent for seeing that our life is a sort of area and experience for us to learn. And as long as we're always open to learning, then we have that flexibility. We have that lighter energy, that buoyant energy that Gemini helps us cultivate. All right, so everyone have a fantastic day. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the Daily Forecast.